Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another episode of Anime Weekly with your two hosts with the most, myself, I'm Chris, and everybody knows this guy. What's up guys, it's Jeremy. How you guys doing? I hope you guys were able to watch everything because we were kind of, we were in a mad rush this week yes. to, to finish everything in time for recording. There were, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Well, Jeremy's 13. I'm 12. Uh, Jeremy actually watched One Piece. I didn't have a chance. I didn't get a chance. I literally finished maybe 15 minutes before recording tonight. Um, so I didn't get a chance to watch One Piece. I'll have to go back later. Uh, but there were literally 12 episodes. We added a lot. We said we didn't want to go past 10. Jeremy went three over. I've gone two over. But I'll tell you the truth. It's worth it. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, there's nothing that we don't, like, that we're not into on this list. Like, yeah, you know, this week, just like with comics, there are some weeks where it's just kind of like not a, a, not much is really happening, happening plot progression-wise. But, you know, th- th- I think this is good. We don't need to be blown away every single week. You know what I mean? I agree. I, I agree. And this week really was more either main story arcs were ending We've got that segue episode. We've got that explanation episode, um, you know, where we get more information on the background of certain characters or where the story is going to be going. Yeah, or, like, different groups and, like, yeah. So we got a lot, and, and Rhea is still freaking out there. Yeah, I don't know how – see, this, that, that's a show that's, uh, that we're, uh, you know, that we're reviewing that I don't know how we're going to explain. Um – we're just going to go with the episode, man. We're just going to go with it. I will say this, everybody. If you are not watching ReZero, um, my recommendation is to check it out, see if you like it, um, and go with your own – you know, watch the episodes. Cause- oh, and just just in case, uh, like, you're not misreading it, guys. There, it, Like, the A and B thing, it there is a purpose to it. We were confused at first, too. Yep. But uh, you got to watch both. It'll make sense. It'll make a lot of sense if you watch both, mm-hmm. and uh, it puts everything together. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those animes where time travel is every episode. Yeah. Well, so. see, let's put it this way: what video, what what cartoon had the redo button? Oh, fail. Uh, to- oh, oh uh, that was a uh, that was a uh, Code Lyoko. Code Lyoko had the had the redo button. Oh no, I was thinking of uh, Fairly Odd Parents from Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the redo true. button. So oh, I remember that. Basically, if the main character dies, redo the whole day. Yep. Or yeah. Or like we said uh, last episode, it's kind of like Edge of Tomorrow, kind of that like that type of concept, like Groundhog Day, Edge of Tomorrow type of deal. Yeah, exactly. So. Which uh, also, like, real quick, like side note, uh, did you know Edge of Tomorrow was also a manga? It's some. It's a. It's a manga called no. All You Need Is Kill. No, and, I didn't know that. It's a manga series, and I've, I've like, I flipped through the artwork when I was in Barnes and Nobles getting a coffee, and uh, it was really cool. Like, it looks pretty awesome. I might check it out because I really enjoyed the movie. That is awesome, and I'm actually working on building up uh, my manga collection for when we start our show. Guys, we're gonna push the show, the second uh, tier show, to Anime Weekly a couple of months. Uh, do mostly to me. I, I've mentioned this on my videos, but I'm, I'm basically taking a step back from YouTube for a couple of months. I've got a couple of things I've got to do uh, in the personal life. Once those things are settled, Jeremy and I will go forward. But we will have a segment. Uh, maybe we'll have a shorter video where we'll discuss like Boruto, like Jeremy. I know we're getting Boruto starting up. So yep. we might start that in May and do like one or two mangas per extra episode. And then once we get past, I'd like to say, when we get into the summer, hopefully we'll be able to cover. I'll be able to cover a bit more, but I am catching. Yeah, because yeah, because I know there are a lot of you guys out there um, that, that watch the show that are like our big manga readers. Because I love, like I know Jeremy Renfro, you're huge in some manga. Manga always end up making it to your top five on uh, Frontline Live, so I know you definitely would be interested in that. And I know most people that are into anime tend to uh, at least give manga a try. Um, so, I mean, it's not for everybody, especially if you're an American audience and, uh, you know, you, you have a hard time adjusting to the reading format and the lack of color and all that. But, yeah, I feel like it would be a pretty cool show to do. So, looking forward to it uh, when we eventually do uh, put it out. But uh, just uh, letting you guys know we're holding off a little bit. Yeah. So, Jeremy, you did have some news this week. 
Uh, okay. And for anime. So let's start with the anime, then go to the personal. Okay, so anime wise, I just want to like uh just uh, as like a quick kind of thing, I want to go over uh, some of the chapters and some of like the highlights of some of the chapters I read. So big one for fairy tale, we find out that Ur- we might actually find out who Urza's mother is because we know oh. we've, we've known from the get go of fairy tale if you've been watching or reading fairy tale, Urza was an orphan that eventually found her way to the guild and the guild ended up becoming her family, which is why she's super loyal to Fairy Tale and especially to Makara, who she considers her father. But and like it's really cool. We find out that this this really badass villain chick that's working for the bad guys uh, named Lady mom. Eileen, yeah, it might be her mom. Because when they showed this Lady Eileen Belisarian, she looks exactly like Urza, and I'm like, oh my god, this could explain why Urza is so powerful. I mean. It, it, it's really interesting. Um, um, not not much happened uh, in the the, uh, the One Piece chapters. We get more more backstory on Sanji. I feel bad for the crew. They have no chef, so Luffy tries to cook and he fails. He blows the ship up. It's uh, some pretty good comedy. Again, uh, we get to find out more about like the Yonko and a lot, a lot of the setup for that. If you if you guys don't watch One Piece, I'm probably speaking gibberish right now. But uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying the manga there. Um, and one last thing in terms of manga, Bort, potential Boruto manga spoilers have leaked. And just holy remember, crap. this is a spoiler. So if you yeah. want to be spoiled, jump about a minute ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, real quick, I'm gonna give. I'll give you guys a warning. I'll give you guys like 10 seconds. Uh, and if you guys don't jump within that 10 seconds, you're cool. But remember, this is a potential spoiler. This isn't official. This is something that came from Reddit, so I don't know for sure if this is legit. The chapter has not been translated into English yet, so I haven't read it. I think it comes out either next week or the week after, so we'll see. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, go. All right, so Boruto, like, the, the chapter apparently opens up in the future with Boruto older maybe 16 17 and he fights this new rival guy named Kawaki and the village is in ruins like the Hokage mountain is crumbling and like you know he, he's having this whole monologue with his fr- uh, with his uh rival and it's like so you took it this far huh and then he goes yeah it's like and so it's like do we really have to do this he's like don't worry Boruto uh, if you if you don't want to do this, I can send you to the same place I sent the seventh Hokage. And I was like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Did, the seventh Hokage? That means you did, did you just kill Naruto? Did they just announce they killed Naruto in this series? Again, this could be just a dark premonition. I don't I don't know what's going on. They are not gonna I, kill Naruto in his own anime. Well, it's not Naruto's anime anymore. It's Boruto's, so it's fair no, game. I'm not going to kill the main character of 800... No, I'm sorry. I, I take it back. 458-plus episodes. I mean, I don't know, man. Because it's, it's, Bor- it's Boruto's journey now, and I feel like Naruto's death could very well uh, like propel Naruto, uh, Boruto's journey, very much like how Goku's uh, death at the end of the Cell games was supposed to motivate Gohan. Yes, but Goku we got to see in heaven. Is well, our dark <laughs> dead is dead. I don't know, man. I, I really think it could happen, and I think it could be just the push he needs to get, like, you know, to get some kind of cool power boost or, like, some cool... It just seems really, it seems really interesting. As much as I don't want Naruto to die, at the same time, this would also kind of eliminate the problem of Naruto's way too powerful. If Naruto was involved in anything, if, like, if any big problem happened to the village, they would just be like, oh, let's get Naruto to do it. And then there would be no point in having Boruto around in the first place. So I feel like that also makes sense. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards these spoilers may be true. But we'll find out when I read it, and I'll let you guys know, because I'm really interested to see where this goes. All right, so that's pretty much it for the um, anime and manga news. Uh, so on to the personal stuff. Um... So next week, you guys, um, I'm actually graduating this coming weekend from school. Woo! I'm officially done with college. I'm so excited. The, all his girlfriends will be in the in the bleed. There's nobody else going to be there, just 5,000 girlfriends. Well, I mean, I only had seven available tickets, so they're, they're, they're going to they're gonna be a lot. They're, they're just going to be a long line outside just of, of the arena. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm officially graduating college uh, like this week. 
weekend. So I'm uh, a bunch of my family's coming down. So we'll be, like we'll be entertaining a lot of a lot of family in my house. So it's gonna be packed and loud and early. It's not gonna be a a good environment to record. So uh, I'm gonna have to skip uh, next week. But I will definitely be in the comments of uh, the next video and I will you know respond to everybody because I'll still be watching my anime and stuff. So of course I'll I'll still give my thoughts in the comments and. Of, and all that other stuff. So I'll be there in spirit, but I won't be there on screen. And I probably won't be there on screen either. Usually when Jeremy bows out, I do an audio only uh, show. Uh, it works better for me because I could, it makes working better for me. So uh, I might do video. Uh, it's tentative, but if I finish early enough or maybe as I'm watching the animes, I'll record my thoughts on the animes as they go. I don't know. I'll, I'll I never know anything anymore. I'll probably just watch it all and then just record it all as an audio. But it's become a thing. If Jeremy's not here, I usually don't go on video either. So continuing tradition, I'll go audio. But um, yeah, I'll be I'll be doing Anime Weekly solo next week, uh, and I'll be covering everything except for One Piece. I'm sorry, guys. So Jeremy, in the comments, you will be responsible for One Piece 740, uh -huh. unless unless. I play catch up in the middle of the week while I'm waiting for all the other animes to update, and then <clears throat> we will go from there. But anyway, any other personal news, Jeremy? No, oh, that's pretty much it. I'm just excited to finally be done with college, so that won't get in the way of me doing YouTube anymore. The only thing that will possibly get in the way is when I eventually get a big boy job. A big boy job. The big boy you are. Look at that. Everybody congratulate Jeremy in the comments below. Boy worked his butt off for two years. <laughs> four man shut up four. make it shut up make yourself sound smart two years <laughs> working night and day five thousand girlfriends man can you like that, that that that's a that's a lot to balance like money wise tuition books and five thousand girls man that's and shoes that's a, that's, that's a lot that's oh. too much <laughs> that's a, there's like like man no they, they had to share his shoes like i'm not i'm not buy, i'm not buying i'm not buying i'm not buying individual pairs oh i was talking about your mom tossing the shoes at you to study more oh god no i i've i've, ta I've taken my share of shoes trust me but uh that, that's that's another story for another podcast yes sir so let's get into this week's anime and we will list them before we do them time stamps are back everybody so before we get into it the animes we'll be talking about this week, and I apologize, it's been 12 minutes, this is why this is going to get a separate segment, but till then, which, actually next week, after next week, when Jeremy comes back, there might be two separate sections, but till then, the anime we're talking about this week are One Piece Episode 739, Ace Attorney Episode 5, Naruto Shippuden 458, we are officially out of filler hell, it's over the end, no more, Dragon Ball Super Episode 41, and Ride Episode 5, Cerberus Episode 5, uh, Kurumakuru, Kur oh god dang it, Episode 4, <laughs> ReZero Episode 5, uh, you keep laughing, next time you're going to pronounce it, oh, Gavinari man. of the Iron Fortress Episode 3, Stray Dogs Episode 4, 100 Episode 4, which actually ironically right after recording last week's Anime Weekly, I immediately after uploading that episode of Anime Weekly went and watched this episode of 100, and probably I'll be watching episode 500 because we record this on Monday right after this recording because I'm just loving it. And I have it's we, me and Jeremy will discuss some funny stuff about 100. Anyway, Assassination Classroom Season 2, Episode 16. Oh, this is the episode I've been waiting for, and then we round it all out with Boku, No Hero, or if you want to go the full uh, American pronunciation, My Hero Academia. Episode 5. I like putting Boku no Hero Academia because I like the way that sounds a little bit more than just My Hero Academia. Yeah, and it, it's, it's such a cool anime, man. And, like, you know, we'll get into that definitely for sure. I've got I've got a lot to say about that, especially as a, as a manga reader. Um, but, yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, so should I start with... Uh, so one piece. Go ahead and start piece. with One Piece. Yes, sir. So this was a big episode for manga fans of One Piece because this is the first official appearance of Kaido, one of the strongest of the four emperors out there in the One Piece world. So is this a new story arc now or Yeah, yeah, it's it's, from it, it, it's a it's a new story arc. It's a, it's it's the set up, it's basically One Piece has this formula of like they do they do like the celebration 
and then they do the setup for the new the, right after right after a couple episodes of celebration, uh, just as a cool down. They do like the the opening for the uh, sets up the entire arc, gives you all the characters that you're gonna see and all the other stuff and some backstory, which is what we got. We see Kaido here, like I said, one of the <laughs> biggest uh, you know bosses that they're gonna have to deal with out of the four emperors. Uh, he's one of the strongest. Um, out there, and he's trying to amass an army of devil fruit users. So that's pretty intense. And this dude, I, from what I understand, his uh, fruit power uh, doesn't allow him to die, and uh, it makes him Im- kind of Im- it makes him immortal in a way. He can't be killed, and he oh. just he wants to die. That's all he wants is he wants to die. And he literally there there's a city in, in, in up in up in the sky um, called uh, the, like Skypea with like the sky tower or whatever. He jumps from the sky tower, which is like way 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 up there. And he falls. He's trying to kill himself, and he still gets up. Like nothing happened, and everybody's just like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, like, that's one of those, those. That's one of those bad guys that you're glad he wants to die, or else he could be a real huge problem down. And it's 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 some crazy stuff, man. Like you see the like you have the you know all the all the pirates, all the supernovas, and uh, the wor- the rest of the worst generation gathered in one room, and they pretty much crap their pants because this guy. You can already tell he's just he's trouble. He's going to be a huge threat, and man, it's going to be pretty intense once things start rolling. We're getting pretty close to actually where we're at in the manga because we're de- we're uh, starting to confront pieces of uh, Kaido and his um his army right now. Uh, you know, Luffy's building up an alliance in the manga, and they're trying. They're going to eventually go after Kaido and start this whole war of the four emperors. And uh, at the end of the episode, um. You know, uh, um, what is it? Kaido uh, pretty much proclaims that he's going to start um, the largest war, um, you know, anyone's ever seen in history. Because he uh, he feels he was wondering how like Whitebeard was able to finally die, and he's like, oh, he started a war, so maybe if I start a war, I can finally die. And he's like, you know, uh, and then he's like, I can't wait to I can't wait to do this. And he and, you know he yells out Joker. Which is, uh, you know, Doflamingo's um, co- uh, one of uh, Doflamingo's aliases. So he doesn't know for uh, he doesn't know that Doflamingo is taken out just yet. So once he finds out, of course he's gonna go start going after the person who took down Doflamingo. So the, the Straw Hats are gonna have a target on their backs. Really cool. It was a it was a Talking Heads episode for yeah, sure. That's- why I was having a hard time finishing the episode because I had like three others left. So I- yeah, it's it's a it's a big world building one, which is you know what One Piece is famous for. It has one of the most expansive and like immense worlds out there in terms of anime. So definitely, it it, it takes a while, but once it gets rolling, it really starts rolling. Maybe I'll check out episode seven forty. I mean, you gave me a good catch up with seven thirty, so now seven forty might. We'll see. All right. So is there anything? else you'd like to say about it before we go into the next oh, that's pretty much it all right we got ace attorney episode number five i enjoyed this episode new case and it's kind of across their cases but uh the daughter the sister of the chief that uh passed away in the previous story arc or the previous case the psychic chick right uh, yeah she's watching uh her favorite tv show about this samurai and then out of nowhere in the news, the next day, the Iron Samurai ended up killing his um, co-actor. His co-star, yeah. Yeah, and he's being fingered for it because he's the only one around that could wear the costume that did it. And um, basically, the girl wants to take the case to prove he's innocent. At first, they don't think he's innocent because of his appearance. Uh, I forgot what his name was. Um something uh, will strong will will strong strong will was it strong will it's something with will in it anyway the names are hilarious but uh phoenix right <laughs> ends up taking on the case he goes to the studio he doesn't really get much evidence basically it looks like he did it goodwill was it goodwill i was gonna say iron will but i think i think no because he's the iron samurai i feel like oh, that was no, part of no. his stage name either way that dinging, I keep feeling like I'm coming up with good ideas. <laughs> um, in the end, Phoenix Wright realizes that this guy's innocent, but they got to prove it. 
and they're losing the case, and then they basically finger the security guard who actually was withholding information, which pushes the case to the next day. You know what this kind of reminds, like this show in general, it kind of reminds me of. It reminds me of like it reminds me of yeah, Law and Order, but also the Daredevil Netflix show. It kind of reminds me of you know how like in, yep. in the Daredevil Netflix show, like Nelson and Murdoch take on all these small cases and just help people because they need help. That kind of thing. Mm. It uh, it really it reminds me a lot of that. Like they're not into in it for like high, high profile stuff or like in it for like money or they're a huge paycheck. People, yeah. Exactly, I 100% agree, and that's what makes it fun. Also, and the cases are kind of interesting. It plays out like the video. I I love the puns with these names and like just like the terminology they're using and like uh the constant some... shouting of objection even from the witnesses. That that's uh, you know I actually sat there and watched a friend of mine play one of those games and I'm like oh that's actually part of the game you you repeatedly yell objection. Yep. Huh. I could have told you that, but in the game, he actually says it in English. <coughs> huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, for, I forgot. For some reason, I forgot that, uh, that he doesn't actually... There, I forgot there is a Japanese word for objection. Inai! <laughs> Sorry, it became one of those things now where I've actually walked into a room with my brother's girlfriend, and instead of screaming objection, because I know she likes Phoenix right now, I go, Inai! And she's like, stop it. It's objection. They played it out as objection. I'm like, oh, uh, that's not that's America funny. Yet. It's not in America yet, so it's inai. That's funny. Um, I I started doing that with some Japanese that I've learned from repeated watching of anime. Like when I'll, I'll be I'll be at dinner and like me and if it's me and my da- if it's me and my dad just there, I'll just we'll, I'll just be like ich matsu, which is like let, which means let's eat. <laughs> And uh, he just laughs because, you know, he's an anime fan too, so he's, obviously he knows a couple of phrases. You know, it's bad to ask me a question while or after I watch anime because if, if the answer is no, sometimes I'll be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 like, right after you finish watching an anime and you, like, you mess something up, you're just like, I see my sin. Yep. <laughs> or, uh, oh, God. Or you, or you, or, or you, or you'll check, or you'll like check up on somebody. Be like, "Taijobu." <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not going Japanese here. We're gonna keep uh, going. Now, this one I know Jeremy's gonna love talking about. So, Jeremy, this is gonna be all you, and it is Naruto Shippuden. I, I but, was so hyped. I was oh. kind of a little let down at one thing. The you know how they kept the straight story arc, and then I'll let you talk about it. They've kept the story pretty straight for um with the Itachi. Yeah, the, and that, that was a that was, jumped. that was a bad ending. That was for the bad Itachi. editing. No, I thought it was bad editing because at one moment it was when Naruto was a kid. The next moment was sh- yeah, yeah. It just cuts right to the right to the present time. I, yeah, that was really <laughs> choppy editing. I did feel I did feel kind of no tradition. It was rushed on that part for sure, but you know what? Uh, I honestly didn't care too much because I was like, "We're finally here, guys! We're fighting! We're fighting Kaguya!" And uh, you know, I'll be honest, Kaguya is probably one of the most underdeveloped villains uh, in the yeah, entire I, Naruto we, series. weren't weren't we supposed to get a background on her, or we're just going into the fight? It looks like I feel like we're just gonna go into the fight. But uh, we might get some background because the, the thing is with uh, the thing is with what happened in the manga, right? Um, Kishimoto ended up making Madara so powerful that he wrote himself into a corner. Like, how the hell are they gonna be able to defeat a guy this powerful? So basically, what he did was he had that villain be absorbed by an even more powerful villain. So he created Kaguya, but he didn't really give enough. He didn't really have enough time to uh Give her develop back. develop a personality for her like she doesn't really have a personality she has a motivation but she doesn't have a personality which is like the strongest aspect of most naruto villains um but uh it was still pretty cool um the that animation where madara was getting absorbed and he had like that ball sack looking face that was pretty funny i, oh, I weird I, I started laughing. Um, the part that had me laughing so hard was uh, with uh, with Sakura when Sakura is like, "I finally caught up to Naruto and Sasuke," and Naruto and Sasuke are getting ready to charge after Madara, and Kakashi's like, "No, no, don't no, do it. No, stay back. You need a plan." Like, she's like, "You're too weak." But he basically was like, "No, no, 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 no. You're not on that level, son. Back up, Sakura. Back up." Oh, that was. A little bit. I feel like he did that with Sakura because Naruto and Sasuke ran in without a plan. 
<clears throat> and that's why they are cool. Well, well, yeah, but also soccer is just not on that level. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't hate soccer as much as Nar- some Naruto fans do, but I got, I gotta be honest, soccer is just not, no, uh, not on that level at all. So she would have gotten crushed. I like, feel the important part of this episode was with Sasuke finally knowing his brother, why his brother did what he yeah. did, what he did and not hate his brother anymore. Now he understands that his brother did it because he loved him. Yeah, and it and it sets up his motivation for his fight with Naruto and uh later on uh you play have you, have you finished the game yet cuz I don't want to spoil this if you okay. Well, you can go ahead and spoil well, cuz I've well, watched the game. Okay, so uh yeah, so th- this this whole thing after experiencing Itachi's life, Nar- uh, Sasuke understands Itachi's motivation and this is kind of what motivates him to eventually after Kabi is defeated challenge Naruto to, uh, for the right to be Hokage and uh, he, why he is motivated to start this whole revolution and uh, take down, kill all the Kage, kill all the previous Kage because he feels like it's, it wasn't Itachi's fault. It was the people in charge who gave him this job in the first place. Yeah, but I feel like in Boruto, Naruto gets rid of all of that garbage. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to see though because it looks, it looks a little, uh, looks things look a little messy over there in the future. Yes, there they do. Yes, there they do. But yeah, it was it was really good for the most part. The animation was pretty solid, um, and it um, it had some it had a good setup. Uh, it basically ended with Kaguya showing up, so we didn't actually get a full fight fight, but still good. I can't wait to see how it actually goes down, and I'm glad we're just finally done with filler. And uh, I'm thinking either next week or the week after we'll get a new opening, which I always love when they get new openings. So that's always fun to see here what the new opening is sound like oh jeremy's on cloud nine he's he's just finally out of that filler hell oh yeah i'm 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 so ready i've I've been ready for a very long time it is about time it's finally happening all right so let's go into dragon ball super 41 now this one was definitely post event filler the king of all the king of all 12 uh, realms yeah the king of every the king of everything like xenosama Fun fact, I looked it up. The guy who voices him is the same guy who voices Togepi in Pokemon. Knew it. Knew that voice sounded familiar. But anyway, he comes out and he's like, I came here to say this is wrong, but after watching it, um, we need to do this with all 12 realms. So basically, what this tournament was wasn't a tournament. It was to set up for the grand tournament of all 12 realms which will be hosted by the king of all and the king of all i love how goku just walks up to me he's like and shakes his goku and he shakes his hand and beers is like no 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 no." and he's just like i'm I'm just being nice is it just me or are they making goku's too stupid though i mean he was he he's not that i don't know it just it felt like that I feel like it's more, it's not them making Goku too stupid. I feel like they're just making Goku go more back to his Dragon Ball self. Exactly. And after Dragon Ball Z, is that a smart thing to go back to Dragon Ball? Yeah, I, I, that, 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 is a, that is a good point. I, I don't know. I think it provides a lot of good comedy. And I, I feel like after that whole serious fight with Hit, that was a, like, it was a nice, you know, it was a nice touch to it. Also, okay, so Super Dragon, that was really trippy. Oh, I was I, right. I told you that planet was the Dragon Ball. Yeah, you were right. Okay, I'll give you that one. But seriously, though, that dragon is freaking trippy. You gotta go, you gotta get eaten by the dragon, and then there's a dragon inside the dragon, and then you gotta make the wish. Um, oh, It was really cool to see that, you know, it looks like Beerus actually does care about Champa. Yep. Because, like, he let Champa have his wish, and he, you know, let Champa reinstate the Earth of his universe so that he could have the food and stuff like that. From what I think, actually, I think that, that was, like, a strategic move. Like, you know, he gave Champa what he wanted so that later on, when they do the Grand Tournament, Universe 6 and Universe 7 can team up against the other universes. Maybe. And they'll... And maybe they'll, like, share whatever prize it is or whatever. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to this grand tournament. But I hope they don't do it for a while. I hope we get something else first. I don't. Want yeah, they, they didn't give a set date to when it's going to be, which I think was smart. I feel like uh, so that, like, you know, we'll know so that when it gets closer, we'll know when everybody's going to train. And hopefully go- it'll give us enough time to let Gohan train. They enough. don't 
put Gohan in this anime, I'm quitting the anime. Oh man, I was just like, dude. You know, you know, a f- funny story about Dragon Ball Super. Apparently, uh, my dad had no idea that there was another Dragon Ball anime going on. He's like, "What? There's another Dragon Ball anime going?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's like 40 episodes." And he's like, "You used to, w-. he's like, you used to watch this when you were like a baby." I'm like, "Yeah, I know, but it was awesome, it's, and it's still good." He's like, "I can't believe it's still going." I'm like, "Yeah, but it's still pretty awesome." Yeah, but there was a long gap. I mean, let's be honest, Dragon Ball GT was '98. We started. Dra- Dragon Ball Super in 2014. Yeah, that's true. So, oh no, 2015. I'm sorry. If you count the movies, 2014. But uh, yeah. So um, yeah, there was you know n- nothing huge, but I thought it was pretty cool. I like that. I like that Kabi was referring to Vegeta as like Sensei, like Master. Yep. I like that. That, that was I thought they were gonna go. Oh, I thought they were going to go because you mentioned they were going to go. It's to probably gonna, it's going to be in a couple episodes for sure. But I, uh, I'm i glad they're setting that up like for the future. Yeah, I think the next episode is going to be trippy. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't know. This was a nice segue episode into, I guess, what Dragon Ball considers filler. Because I think the next few episodes are going to be filler. I think it's not just Dragon Ball doesn't necessarily do filler. It's more they just do comedic episodes, and then and then like and then they do, and then they'll do a couple and then like they'll do like a few comedic episodes and then a couple serious episodes. Like they they had that like the one comedic episode where Bulma went with Jocko and the whole thing yeah. with her boobs. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I feel like it's gonna be a couple of those, and then we'll get into some more serious stuff. True. All right, End Ride, episode number uh, five. I feel like this episode really just set up who the Egonauts are. It, yeah, the the base, which uh, basically are that rebel faction we met last episode that uh, of the, like the paladins that uh, Emilio wants to team up with to help take down his dad. Yep, and we get the backstory on their leader, why he was this rich person who decided, hey, I'm gonna live free and. Uh, he actually wants to work with the zoo, 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 zooians or zoolian, whatever they were. They were basically they're like a half animal, half human breed, and they were kind of pushed out of the um, Endora society. And um, he seems fact- very like Robin Hoodie. I, yeah. I feel like he was like very much like a Robin Hood type character. Yeah, but all throughout his childhood, he had a friend who was a zoo, a zoo, whatever you pronounce, whatever you call that, and. Um, he died, and that's when he kind of went all Robin Hoody the way he is now. And now they want to take down the king and, and make all of Endora free again. Yep. Making, hashtag make Endora great again. And uh, Shun, uh, his warp relic evolved at the end of the episode. Did you see the evolution? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, so I guess he gained enough XP. Hey, that's, he's got a Pokemon. That, that's exactly what I thought of. I'm like, e- I guess he gained enough XP to pay for that crafting upgrade. Because that was, I thought Pokemon immediately. When I heard his sword or his his stone evolved, I'm like, Pikachu. Pikachu, that's your cue. Get your lightning ass out here. Oh, man. Uh, there, but yeah, I maybe it's because like a bunch of my friends play MMOs, so I, 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 I and so I got into them for a while. Uh, I, I instantly thought, oh, he's about to, he, he gained enough XP. He's gonna go, he's gonna go find a craftsman, and he's gonna just upgrade that weapon. <laughs> I liked it. I thought this was a nice episode. It, it set up a really great, um, you know, backstory for the leader of the Egonauts. And Shun, it shows that Shun is a lot more powerful than anyone took him for. Uh, and the prince, I don't know, I, I see their relationship really, uh, their friendship really blooming as the episodes continue forward. They, I'm getting more and more of a brother vibe as this series goes on. I'm telling you, it got to be related somehow. They've like, got to. There's that no way. I think you're right. I think it's true. All right, Cerberus, episode five. Now, this one, again, was another setup. This one was actually not a setup, it's a lead up to the next chapter. Episode 1 through now uh, was all about him being in this town, training to be ready to take out um, um, Dragon. The, the Black Dragon. Yes, the, Dragon. The... Dragon uh, Bar- Barba or something, whatever. And um, his friend, Guru, Giru, 
actually pushes him. He wants to see if Hero has what it takes to push forward and to take out a uh, dragon Zar Zargat. Zar Zarat? Zarbat? Zar Zar I, I Zarbat? I almost said Zarbat. I almost said Zarbat. Which, by the way, that book, the Dragon Ball Z Color um, Collection Volume 1 for the Frieza arc, is officially out now, guys. So hopefully you will be checking that out. So yeah, um, but yeah, he's uh, he's testing him out to see if he can take out, take down the dragon, or if he's gotten you know uh, sufficient enough skills. And uh, now they have officially decided to move past the town, and uh, the kid's going with them. Um, he decided to leave the leader of the leave, rogue to leave his little gang behind. It reminded me a little bit of Squirtle, like uh, when Squirtle left the Squirtle yep. Squad. Yep. No, but I mean, I feel like we got a little more. Um, development with the cat girl also because she finds uh, the other girl who follows Hero around like a lost puppy. She takes her to the spring and I guess she has her own motives but then you got that other girl who's working for the main bad guy who actually sent who actually made a setup for Hero at the healing springs and that's what led into the whole yep. attempt to capture Hero and the failure of capturing Hero and then they all end up leaving together. So I, I liked it. I thought this was a really nice episode. And actually, episode five is out now for that as well, or six is out for that now as well. So I might actually jump on that after a hundred. Yep, it's a it's a it's a really cool fantasy anime. Like uh, it, it definitely uh, continues with the trend that we've been uh, we've been dealing with with like the whole fantasy motif and the crystals and the you know like um, dealing with. Like a little baby dragon that can like grow all, all huge and stuff, but the baby dragon's so cute. It's like, oh man, I want a plushie of that thing. <laughs> I do. I would take it. I would. I would take it in a moment. All right, Koromakoru episode number four. This one was another episode that kind of felt like okay, let's take the main character and show him what life is like outside you know in modern day and it opens up with him eating food and he's like this doesn't look like food um the girl takes him shopping and um he's like what, what is this castle yeah yeah when he's looking at the buildings it's, it was it was great it reminded me it reminded me of like cap when cap experienced Times square like modern day Times square for the first time and he's like he sees like that big neon toys R us he's like what the hell is going on here <laughs> yeah but i like how the daughter we find out more and this is where you were right jeremy maybe the bloodline does travel back into old japan where um the daughter's father knew the de that they were coming and he had this whole book about it yep yeah i, I had a feeling it was going to be like a blood like a blood a bloodline like descendant connection thing or some kind of reincarnation deal yeah so i i liked it i thought this was a really nice um you know segue issue i guess it leads into the next part where Eventually, we know that the two of them, the main character and the main character female, are going to end up working together in... And, and using that giant robot yes. to fight the bad guys, which was pretty cool. Zoid's Chaotic Era all over again. Oh, I love Zoid's Chaotic Era. Mm. Don't ask me why. It was a very enjoyable time in my life. Uh, but, uh, I, you know, I haven't I haven't watched a good mecha anime in a long time, so this was pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm a sucker for a man out of time story. And it's a samurai. It's a freaking samurai. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Rurouni Kenshin is on Netflix, guys. So if you haven't checked out Rurouni Kenshin before, it's a, it's a classic that I highly recommend. I just found out it came on Netflix. And, and you guys better because... Because at some point, we will be bringing back the Otaku Hour for one special, which is the 90s anime special. Yep. Oh, man, that's that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. All right, are you ready to get a headache, Jeremy? Oh, uh, here we go. Time travel. <clears throat> Re-Zero, episode five. Okay. So apparently... Well, well, if we mess up this explanation, we could always go back in time and reset. I'm not dying. I don't... I, would you want to die? If, if you can't... 
Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Things. I don't know. Like, I want to pose that question to the comments. So if, you, so like, I know there are a lot of a lot of times where, like, in life, you think, man, if I could do that over again, things would be a lot better. So would you? And if you had that ability, would you be willing to kill yourself I just would. so you could restart the day? I feel like that. I feel like it's that's a rule. You have to get killed, not kill yourself, get killed, because that's cheating if you kill yourself. I feel like that's a little too much effort. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta find somebody to kill you or piss somebody off enough so they could kill you. Just all so right, you right, I'll give you the thing. thing. All right, all right, you have to die, period. Okay, so yeah, so would you would you either get yourself killed or kill yourself just to restart a day? I feel like that's too much effort. I, 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 don't, I would not, maybe I'm just lazy, but I wouldn't want to go through all that just to restart what? one day. I don't want to feel what it feels like to die, so I would have to go with, nope, I'll live with the decisions I make on a day-to-day -day basis, no matter how bad they are, and just deal with them as they come. I don't want to die. But yeah, tell us in the comments, what would you guys do? So apparently, um, main character did die, because at the end of the last issue, he's reliving the day again, but now it's not all the way back at the beginning where the first four episodes... Thank on. God. Thank you, Lord. Jeez, like, talk about wash, rinse, and repeat. This time he's reliving his second day in this new world. And what's funny is he does everything predictably. Like, he knows what he decisions he makes again. And this time, however, things play out differently. Th this, this anime is basically playing one giant telltale game. <laughs> yeah. That's and kind, of how I, yeah and kind of how I put it. Like... Because me and DN were talking about it uh, last night, actually, and um, I was because we 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 uh, we were talking about Game of Thrones and the Game of Thrones Telltale game, and I'm like, you know, ReZero is essentially just one giant Telltale game. Yep. I'm waiting for Telltale to actually do this as a game because I feel like this would be a pretty fun game. It would. So this time, instead of him becoming a butler and you know trying to find his place and getting a date with um, Mira, uh, Amelia, uh with one of the two sisters who are maids, it starts to develop a little bit. You get more background on this, the maid characters. And um, obviously he gets the date again. However, something happens. And I don't like this, and I've got to warn you guys about one thing. Watch after the credits, because apparently this anime is notorious for playing the credits. And then after the credits, there being another two minutes of the anime and i told jeremy didn't even know about what i was what i'm about to talk about yeah i and I, I, I had to go back and watch it before we recorded because i was like oh i didn't know there was an after credit scene and it turns out we learn in this very important scene that somebody did, did kill the main character in his sleep two episodes ago or last episode <clears throat> he basically died in his sleep and that's why he woke up in the past because he did die because this time he didn't want to sleep because he basically wanted to cheat, you know, the day restarting so he could spend time with uh, Amelia on that day. And it turns out it looks like somebody poisoned him because he ends up dying. He ends up throwing up all over the place, losing, you know, he, running all over the castle trying to figure out what's going on with him. And then somebody attempts to murder him. I get a really bad feeling, Jeremy. We're going to be seeing this day for at least two more episodes. Yeah. Gonna find out who killed it. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it has, it's like a, it's a time travel murder <coughs> mystery. You gotta find out who keeps trying to kill him, and then how he's gonna figure out how to prevent that. So the next episode will probably be who killed him. The episode after that, will I, be and I think it's one of those things. It's really interesting because it makes you because it's uh, like a time loop type of thing. You really have to pay attention to each little decision, and it's like okay, so that led to this. Then, so if he does this instead of this, then this could happen. Like, so that's why I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, it's a bit of a headache to explain, but watching it, it's pretty fun. I could have killed him, though. He wanted to be a butler again. Didn't, what's her name, didn't Amelia tell him in the previous episode, you could have just asked to be an infinite guest. Yeah, to be an infinite guest, and you would have been fine, yeah. Yeah, and, the, and I think that the, the lord of the place is a bit gay, perverted. Yeah. For that sure. was that was a little that was a little much when he's like uh, everything's 
my property, including you. I'm like, oh, um, oh, yeah, that was uh, that was a little awkward. Was I felt little... awkward watching that. Uh, yeah, I felt a little uncomfortable there. I was like, uh, I feel like I'm sexual harassment, but you, you, you're the king, so I don't think I can say anything. But it still still makes me feel kind of icky. Yeah. So if you want to get a good explanation, just watch <clears throat> watch the anime because. I don't think we can't explain it any better than that. Time jumps are constant. It's a lot of like it's a basically like I said it's a massive telltale game. So it's like one of those things where you have to really look at every small detail to see what effect would this lead to and like that it's and it's an interesting mystery too so, cuz you really don't know what's going on. It reminds me a little bit of uh the anime that uh I was watching last season that uh, uh that I wasn't uh, that um I wasn't able to uh Get Chris to catch up with in time called Erased. Uh, yeah, where, where basically but I the last episode was really bad. It yeah, it, made bad and, it ended pretty ter- terribly. Uh, it they, they tied everything up in a nice little bow instead of actually going in a direction that would be more interesting. Um, but yeah, it was that where like you know the main character has a chance to go back to go back in time, but it's more like Quantum Leap where like he's a thirty year old and he ends up going back in time into the body of his sixteen year old self. With the knowledge of, you know... The 30-year-old. Uh, yeah, of the 30-year-old. So he knows, oh, this is going to happen on this day. So maybe if I do this instead. So yeah, and he's trying to figure out who this, like, uh, you know, person who killed all these students at his high school were, uh, was. It turns out to be the teacher, spoiler alert, uh, which is, you know, it was pretty obvious. I was kind of mad. But anyway, it's kind of like that. I still recommend you check out a race though, if you're interested in that kind of, like, mystery type of genre. But again... Uh, that's that's uh, that's my best uh, comparison anime that I could put up to with uh, ReZero right now. Gotcha. All right, so let's get into something less confusing, and that is Cabinary of the Iron Fortress Three. This one explained what a Cabinary was basically, and yeah, and like how they work, and a little bit about the biology and stuff. Yeah, and now May May basically wants to train the main character, who is a Cabinary. So that basically when she overexerts herself and goes into her shell, he'll be her shield <clears throat> until she yep. regenerates. And Also, did you know May May means sister? I did not know I that. I did not know that, no. Until until I actually I I, I looked Nisa, it up. Nisa I thought was No, May May is sister in Chinese. Like Nissan oh. uh, Ni- Nissan is a is a brother or sister in Japanese. But uh May May is apparently sister in Chinese. I did not know that. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I found that I found that out from a friend of mine who is Chinese, and I was like, yeah, this character's name is Mei Mei. It's like, oh, Mei Mei means sister. So are they related? Because Mei Mei means sister. I'm like, oh, they probably are. Cool. Maybe she's a sister, as as in Cabinary sister. Yeah, May. Uh, yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, cause she in like from that episode, she automatically knew he was a Cabinary. So maybe like they were separated at a very young age, and like you know, that's her younger sibling or whatever. <laughs> who knows. I liked it, uh, but basically the whole crew wants to kill them because they don't trust them. It turns out somebody on the train, though, is bitten and is slowly becoming a cabinet, a, a, a caban instead of um, quickly. Uh, and, yeah, that was weird. Like, cause I, I thought, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought the, um, I thought the infection and transformation was instant. Because, like, in the first couple episodes, it was pretty much instant. Exactly. And um, what, what happens is they run out of water. So they end up having to stop. Nobody likes um, both ca- both of the cabinary. The girl walks away because they don't want to mess with her because she's got mad skills. She goes and plays with these kids. And uh, the guy, though, uh, I love how the, the the woman basically tries to kill him. And basically what happens is he says, I would do anything to destroy the cabinary. I don't want to destroy the hu- humanity. And basically it, that's what kind of convinces everybody everybody that okay this guy even though he was bitten he's on our side remind me a little bit of Eren from attack on titan because remember when everybody found out that Eren was a titan they were all freaking yeah. out and stuff and he's like no i want to kill the titans we can use this power to destroy the titans so let, let's yeah. go ahead and do that exactly exactly but the girl after making so many friends does something stupid i don't know if she did it on purpose or not but she's like, can I get blood to eat? And everybody gets super upset. And they're like, you're a monster. You really are a monster. And I'm like, you could have just eaten the dumplings, girl. Why? Why? 
why did you have to mention blood? Of all things, what a bad time. And then yeah. finally, the pregnant woman turns into a Kaban and, and uh, Mei Mei kills her, but it turns out she was pregnant. So now it makes Mei Mei look bad even though she did kill. I was, you know, you know what I was kind of expecting? I was kind of expecting like an aliens moment. Where, I like, the, the, the baby, baby was going to burst through, like, the ch- I was like, that's going to happen, right? But it didn't happen. I thought it would have been really cool, though. Like, I thought that would have been pretty awesome. I, I, I really wanted to see that, too. But then something happens with the guy as well. And let's just say this episode ends on a very tense note. Yep. And it's like, why? Why, why did you end it right there? You couldn't wait five more minutes. Give us at least a man. Closure. You know, you wouldn't. You wouldn't think that so much could happen on one train. But Jesus, like so much stuff is happening on this one train. Boom, 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 boom. One right after the other. It was crazy, but it was so good. Highly recommend this anime. And it was. It's only a week behind due to the earthquake. There is a a, a um, donation support. So if you guys want, go donate to support uh, fixing uh, Japan. There was a Huge earthquake that happened two weeks ago. Really devastating uh, damage happened. So go support yep. your local uh, anime vendors and Japan. Support Japan. Because without Japan, I think progression would really take a step back in time. Yep. And we wouldn't get any of this cool content that we're talking about right now. Exactly. So Stray Dogs, episode number... Um, Four. For some reason, I thought we were on five. Uh, I believe episode five came out. We're on episode four now. That's why. I, I It's because I saw it on the site listed as five. We, we used to record uh, these. We used to, everybody who doesn't know, we used to record these on Sunday. But because now we have 13 animes, we pushed it to Monday and it's throwing us off. Yeah, number wise for the episodes, because like some so most of them come out on Sundays, but and Saturdays, but there are some that come out on Mondays. Hundred so. stray dogs and um, uh, Re- the uh, Cerberus. Yeah, Cerberus. Yeah. Come on. I was about to say ReZero, but ReZero comes out Saturdays. Right. So three shows that we have to be careful we don't do the wrong. Well, watch the wrong show. Watch the episode for the. For next week instead of uh, the one for the current week we're <laughs> Exactly. So, Stray Dogs, though, I thought this was a really good one because now the main character knows he has a bounty on his head because he's a were-tiger. And he thinks he's a huge burden on the agency. And Black Li- the Black Lizard Squad is introduced and they're like this big badass um, organization that's like a, they're stronger than the biggest um military fbi and uh he fears that the mafia the port mafia are going to send them to the agency so he basically quits the agency calls them and says look i quit the agency don't don't mess with them they are not involved i'm running alone try to get me if you can i like this whole structure because it kind of reminds me of like akame got killed without you know their organization you know um and like how 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 uh, they they run things and how you know how important their members are to are to them mm. and uh, like that like the the agency in uh, Stray Dogs reminds me a lot of Night Raid from a comic I kill it's uh, it's pretty cool I, I like and I like that um, I I understand where he's coming from he doesn't want he doesn't want these uh, these people that were so you know so nice and protective of him to get hurt because of him and because you know he feels like he's the one bringing in all the danger when really they're in this line of work all the time, so danger is kind of part of the job description. So I just wish they'd stop showing. I feel like I've seen this every episode at least twice. The whole get out, don't come back, you should die in a ditch, nobody will ever want you. You know when he's getting kicked out of the orphanage? Yeah, that, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Naruto during the flashbacks. Every time we see that little image of kid Naruto with the fox shadow... And then this, the one image of him sitting on the swing alone. I'm tired of seeing him on that swing. They need break to stop. The swing. Hashtag need to stop. the swing. They just need to stop. I'm tired of it. But I love how he, he the agency gets attacked by the black lizards. The main character runs back thinking, oh my god, I just got them all killed. And they just beat the crap out of the black lizards. That was, that was out awesome. The window and they're like, <clears throat> they try this once a week. And he, he's like, once a week. 
<laughs> I'm staying. <laughs> this is all. It was awesome. And man, being a lair tiger, can I, that's that's like the coolest transformation ever. Especially because you're like a a ghost, uh, phantom, super strength were tiger. It's not like yeah. just you're turning into a tiger. You've got like supernatural powers. And whatnot. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty epic. Like, uh, I, and I like the action scenes in this anime are just framed so well. And I like the music in the background too. It's pretty intense stuff. Yes. Oh yes. So Stray Dogs is another anime we are really loving. This definitely had a good action, but more of just solidifying the main character staying with the agency. Now we get into some action with hundred. Episode number um, l- 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 four. I have to make sure I've got the numbers right, right now. Episode four. This episode, like I said, I watched it directly after last week's Anime Weekly because I had to see what happened next. This was actually the first one on my list that I, that I watched, uh, the, like, yesterday when I started binging through everything. Now, I mentioned this on my live show on Friday, and it actually made Jeremy go back and check this out, but a short story before we get into the anime. I t- I told Jeremy I looked up the 100 anime because I wanted to see what happens next. You know, just where the story you know, goes. Hilarious story. It turns out that the 100 manga actually ends, the volume ends on last week's episode. That's it. The manga doesn't continue past that. Yeah, so we're working here. We're working without a net here, people. Uh, we don't got a manga to fall back on. So this is going to be interesting. Yep, as of episode 4... This is all outside of the manga. This is all straight to... I mean, unless there was a manga or volumes posted somewhere else, and if you would like to comment below if we're wrong, please let us know where we can find the next volume. But 100 ended on last week's episode in the manga. Now, this week's episode, episode 4... Um, oh, God. Name will come to me. His name left me. you Crap. Uh, it starts with a Y. No, it starts with a K, I thought. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, meal. It's, a, yeah. it's a meal. It's, yeah, it's, it's Emmy, it's Emmy, and then the president, Kur- Katsu? Kur- Kur- uh, Kurosawa, Kur- Kurosagi? No, ah. that, that's the ding of you are wrong, I'm going to find that out. Oh, wait, I can't. It'll slow me down. Ah, uh, shoot. Jeremy, it's up to you to find out the, the name. But the main character is asked to weird. to be the bodyguard of this really popular singer. And it's the singer from the last episode that the sister wanted to go see. And um, when he um, starts to, you know, take over as the bodyguard, uh, it turns out the woman's like, we should get married. It would be so perfect. You're a slayer. I'm a singer and we find out later on that she has slayer abilities as well and she's like planning out the wedding and everything and basically the main character to get her off of him a little bit because I guess you could see that there's kind of feelings there for Amelia. Oh, okay, so like, uh, just to start, sorry about that uh, so I'm on Google right now and apparently, uh, yeah the manga is ended but it's actually a, uh, a novel series that's being, the novels are being adapted into a manga it's an actual, like, book novel series uh, in Japan. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at the brain on. See, look, if I didn't send Little J to go find out more. Emilia Claire Harvey, which is the president. Um, it, it, his name is Karen. No, uh, no. Karen? Wait. No, he is not. No, Ka- no, Karen is the sister. What am I doing? Karen is the sister. Yeah, you. His name I is... Don't... Uh, no, yeah, I was right. It, it, his last name is Kurosagi. Um, yeah, uh, Kusaragi. Kusaragi, there you yeah, go. Yeah, Kusaragi. There, yeah, it's uh, his name, and his name, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I'm not. I can't find his first name, but it, they keep mentioning him as Kurosagi. So anyway, so, yeah. yeah. So it it turns into this huge thing where she's uh practicing. It turns out she goes you know from place to place place and he's kind of admiring her and she's like don't call me miss whatever call me by my first name and when he tells amelia this she gets jealous when he tells claire this she gets jealous there's going to be this humongous i have a feeling there's going to be this humongous love triangle there are definitely services in this 
this anime kind of like... Hayato, Eric Hill. that's his name. I found Hayato. it. Hayato, thank you. You were right, it is an H. Okay, cool. Uh, that wouldn't bug me. So I, I, that's, how I, that's how I kept looking. I'm like, I know his name is here. So, somewhere. I think that I really am enjoying... I mean, as much as I'm loving the action with the fighting and whatnot, I'm loving this love triangle. <laughs> I know! I, this has, no. this has one of the like this has a really good romance angle to it and it reminds me did you watch Tenchi back in the day this yes. very much reminds me of Tenchi yes but now the question is who do you want him to be with do you want him to be with Amelia the girl he saved and who loves him and who tracked him down for years I or the kind, president I actually like Claire I like Claire I don't know I don't it's, like Claire I actually like Amelia but I have a feeling that something bad's gonna happen to Amelia at the end of the anime no, see, the reason why I say Claire is I feel like we're going to get some backstory on Claire that's going to develop her more, that's going to make us like her more, and I can't wait to see that, because uh, it seems like he's, she seems pretty interesting. I don't know, maybe it's just because I, I tend to have a softer spot for the for the ones that are the more hard, the harder-to-get types. And, and I don't and, feel like she's the harder-to-get type because uh, he keeps doing stuff to her, and she keeps kind of... No, no, but, no, but you know, you know what I mean. She's kind of, she's like in that, that type of tsundere type of deal where she, like, she denies it, but, um, but you know, she does have those, those type of things. You know, that, that's what I mean. To pl- she's playing hard to get. She's not necessarily hard to get, but she's playing hard to get. And you know what's really cool? The next episode, which is why I can't wait to finish this anime weekly to go see it. He's going to her summer house. He wants to have a personal meeting with him. Well. There's going, it's, there's going to be a pool. It's, I, I can already see it now. It's going to be a pool scenario and stuff. So, yep. But this is a perfect mixture. See, this, this is an anime that has good sci-fi, good action. The hundred thing, which reminds me of uh, Luck and Logic. You've got good comedy. You've got a love triangle that you. I love. I love. I love. The, I love. The- the funny fan service comedy, especially all like the boob grabbing. Like that, that freaking uh, that Hayato does and all the time, especially four... with the president. And remember, it's only four episodes in. Four. There's still a potential for at least another figure if it's twelve episodes. There's another eight episodes of this. Yep, that's that's for sure. I, and it, it's fun. It's fun. It's like it's not nothing any uh, nothing too like serious. It's just. A nice mix of, like Chris was saying, action, comedy, and romance. And this is pretty much everything you want. Mm-hmm. Mixed into one. And that's why I love Luck and, Lo- uh, Luck and Logic. I love Luck and Logic, but that's why I love 100. It reminds me of Luck and Logic and a few other animes that I've been enjoying mixed it all into one. Are you reading something, Jeremy? I'm, 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 trying, to fi- I'm trying to find more information on these novels. Uh, that's why. That's why Jeremy I'm staring loves, so close Jeremy, to Jeremy, the Jeremy loves the fan service. He wants to know if there's any nudity coming up. <laughs> I, 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 Five thousand. You're done. Sit down. Sit down and don't get up. Just like with that other girl that you found out was single. Sit down. No more. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's in an incognito window. No one's gonna know. Okay, let's get into the episode that made both of us cry this week, I'm sure. And that is... Assassination Classroom. classroom. Oh, man. Oh, man. This was... I read it. I was prepared. I knew I was this, I, I was prepared, too. This I actually read this before, like, before you did. And I, I, I had warned you in advance about this one very much. This was, this was like the Zara situation all over again, because... Yeah, because you finally see... Koro-sensei, you see the relationship when he was Reaper between him and I forgot what the girl's name was, but the teacher. And when he finally, you know, was ready to leave because he saw what happened with yeah, and, the, and, the, and, and, the, and then that whole thing with the tie. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Well, first of all, we found out about the rat in the moon. That's why yep. the crescent moon happened. And then yep. Reaper found out that he only. Had had a year to live before he exploded so basically he wanted to make do with all the power he got before he died and stop looking up nude anime dude okay oh, fine 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 i'm just, just wait till wait. We, I'll, I'll wait till we finish Fair hobby and you I'm gonna, somebody in the comments who's an artist draw, draw jeremy with, with claire harvey i i would appreciate the fan art guys yeah let's, let's go ahead and do that let's make that a thing <laughs> 
Oh God. But um, that just threw me off completely. But, but he ends up breaking out, and he tells the girl, you better run because I'm getting out of here, and there's going to be a lot of bad things happen. Um, he escapes. If you've read the manga, you know what happens next. She tries to stop her fiancé from killing um, the Reaper. He doesn't, but Reaper ends up killing everybody. She tries to stop him from going completely insane you know, evil, and then she ends up dying. Yeah, like, you, you see him in, like, the blackface mode, which we've only seen a couple times. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then, like, that, yeah, like I said, it's the whole thing where she gives him the tie as the presents, and it's like, you know, wh- where this is your, uh, on your first day as a teacher, I feel like you would make a really great teacher. And I'm just like, oh, oh, no. I, I, I cry. I, it was so, it was so sad. And then and it ended with the students, you know, they had their summer break, or their spring break. Was it spring break? Spring break. Yeah, it was spring break. And they came back, and they're like, we don't want to kill him anymore. What are we going to do? Because now everybody feels bad because he's not the bad guy. They all put him, you know, they all figured him to be. So now what do they do next? And I like how um, Nagisa? Nagisa basically said, let's try to find a way to save Koro-sensei instead of killing and, him. And this is pretty much where I stopped reading the manga. So I'm going to be going in blind from here on out. And and I know how it all ends. And I warned Jeremy, this is worse than uh, Fairy Tale uh, Zero's ending. Oh, no. Who's, the I'm, feels, the, my body's not ready, guys. I, wanna, I ready. actually purposely want Jeremy to watch it live on on Anime Weekly. I would love for Jeremy to watch the... So, you are, you, so basically, you just want to see me cry on camera is what you want to see happen. I want to see if you'd actually cry, yes. <laughs> so you want me to pull a Kevin Smith? Because have you seen that Kevin Smith watches the the season finale, the first the the season finale for season one of Flash, where Barry meets his mom? No. Uh, and he, and he watches it on camera, and you see, you actually see him cry. It's, no. I was like, oh man. But yeah, that's. But he's that's, an actor, so he could have faked it. Uh, Kevin Smith is a director. He doesn't act. He oh, plays. I- Wow, I, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Smith I'm plays Silent Bob. Wrong, wrong person, I'm thinking Kevin, Kevin Smith. Casey. Kevin Smith plays Silent Bob. Kevin Smith doesn't do anything when he's You know, my bad. Him. I don't know why, but when you said Kevin, I, uh, Kevin something, I thought Kevin Spacey for some stupid reason. Well, you know, since you mentioned Kevin Spacey, I gotta say it. Wrong! Wrong! <laughs> that line I will go uh, down in history. Oh, man. Right, but, but yeah, that's the, a, the, that, that, that's assassination classroom tons of feels and the wrong was a perfect segue into Boku no Hero Academia episode number five this is the first day of class and you know it's ironic I or it's kind of um, it's funny because I read this chapter in the manga not a week ago so we um, oh, Izuku basically gets into his homeroom class and it turns out not one, but both of the people he was hoping weren't in his class are. Yep. They got they got both they got both Bakugo and Glasses Guy. I hate Glasses Guy. I yep. don't like Glasses Guy. I, I never even remember his name. I know he's a recur- he, I've read I've read this manga since it started. I've only referred to him as Glasses Guy. He and he has that weird the, the, like the engine leg power thingy. I don't I don't, I don't like him. He's a know-it-all. I, yeah. I, 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 I don't care for me either. But basically, the homeroom teacher heard uh, about Izuku, and basically, he yeah, wants basically... Yeah, and, and this is, uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the first introduction of of their teacher, Eraserhead, who is uh, pretty much, uh, if you want to make the Naruto comparison, the Kakashi of this series. One of your girlfriends just texted you. That was, yeah, BB-8 went off. So that means I got a text message from somebody. Uh, Gee, you're beeping and bb all over the place. Jeremy's a very popular man. All 5,000 <laughs> girls at once are texting and beep. I'm, ge- I'm getting all these like, Facebook messages and text messages during this recording. I I, I really should have turned my phone off. Anyway. <laughs> it's like 5,000, huh? Off. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's the introduction to Eraserhead, who is pretty much the Kakashi of this series pretty much, it very much reminds me of Kakashi because he has that kind of um like more laid back look to him. He's very strict. He even has the thing with the eyes because you know he, if you if he looks at you directly, he can shut down your cork. 
you know, that, yeah. that, that, that's what he actually does to help Izuku, and he basic and he you know he basically threatens Izuku. If you do that, you know, if you do that too much, you're gonna end up killing yourself, kid. Yeah, he's like, this uh, isn't your work. He basically says opposite of what All Might says. He's like, you can't be a hero. You can't make this work. You're just gonna break your arm again, and you keep doing this, you're just gonna die. You're a waste, and you're putting everybody else's life uh, in jeopardy, which I hated him. I hate him. But honestly, I feel like that's those kind of like that kind of thing is going to be what pushes him forward, like because he wants to prove them, you know, prove him wrong, and that type of thing. And it's a, it's a really good motivator. I want to know why the, the the thing the thing that I like about uh, Eraserhead and All Might it reminds it's very much like a Batman Superman type of deal. Yeah, because, but like the deal of they don't like each other deal. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like you know. Because uh, All Might is the bright and happy, like, all on TV and stuff. And uh, Eraserhead is, like, he's more, you know, operates at night, sticks to the shadows. So. Doesn't want to be on camera. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah, so, they, so they butt heads, you know, all the time. I want to know what their deal I know, I don't know what their deal is. <laughs> Damn it, I need to... <laughs> <laughs> But I like how in the end, see... They- this is what proves Izuku is going to be like an All Might. He basically screws Eraserhead because he uses just, just a little bit of the All. Yeah, and, yeah, the one for all in his finger. His finger, and he and he throws the and he throws the ball. And he was in last place in all the other in all the other categories, and basically last place that that student was supposed to get expelled. It was pretty much like Kakashi's bell test in Naruto. He said the person who fails to uh, to get the bell uh, L's that, that, that's tied up to the tree. Ends up fa- will end up failing and uh, get kicked out, and Naruto ends up being tied to the tree. But then Sasuke and Sakura both help him, and that was the point of the exercise. And he ends up passing anyway. Mm-hmm. It was very much like in that same type of vein. So again, gave me a Naruto type of vibe. That's why I liked I liked reading this manga right after the Naruto manga had ended because it very much filled that Naruto void in my life at the time. And uh, yeah. it's still a really good anime, and I feel like. How it, the episodes are paced uh, with the chapters, it's very well done. I feel like it has almost near-perfect pacing. Nothing, yes. really dra- nothing really drags, and nothing is rushed, it feels like. I agree. That's what I like about it, and I feel like they're, they're very true to the book as well. Yeah, it They've pretty much was scene-for-scene scene stuff, yeah. yeah. I really wanted to see uh, Bakugo's face. Uh, I, w- I wanted them to show Bakugo's face when Izuku threw that ball because I wanted to see him just be like oh shit like yeah. man this, this kid that I was making fun of and basically calling a piece of shit this entire time like may actually be pretty powerful mm-hmm. and I like and I like how All Might was watching he's like dude this kid how is he able to do this yep and you know we all you know as always in the background, we get more and more foreshadowing that All Might is losing his power, and he's dying, and now yep. he's dying as well. We find out in this episode. So we, so we know eventually at some point, Izuku will get uh, the power fully transferred over to him, mm-hmm. and All Might will be dead. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't want to see that happen. I want to see maybe as the last episode, you know, we see it happen. But I don't want to see that. Uh, yeah, it'll probably happen at the end of the series. I doubt it's gonna happen like you know in the middle or anything. I feel like it's gonna that's gonna be an end of series type of thing. Yeah, unless they pull a Boruto where the next person comes up. Yep. I don't like Izuku's costume though. I know what's coming. I know what his costume looks like. I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't really too keen on it either. Uh, Bakugo looks great though. Bakugo has such a cool costume. I, I don't know what it is, but why, why does the asshole guy always get the cooler costume? Because he's the asshole. Yeah, fair enough. Vegeta had a cooler costume also. So this is true. This is true. Like, you're like that. It's definitely a fair point. This is true. And with that, guys, that's the end of this week's Anime Weekly. Jeremy, we're going to miss you next week, man. It's going to be all audio next week, guys, most likely. I mean, I'll surprise myself if I do video. I like to keep tradition. When- yeah, but I'll be, well, I'll definitely be in the comments to answer you guys next week if you guys want to hear my thoughts. Definitely, uh, I know a lot of you guys are, are part of the uh, Dark Avenger Nation, so if you guys want, I can start a conversation on there. Absolutely. And you guys can, you guys can ask me what I thought about this week's anime before, um, you know, Chris records the audio, and maybe 
if you know if that happens, I can uh, you know Chris can probably uh, mention it during the show anyway. So it'll be like I was there, even though. But you won't see me looking up pictures of Claire Harvey on camera or anything. That's right. You groper of Claire I'm, Harvey I'm, breasts. I'm probably gonna do that after the show. Just telling you this right now. I'm not. I'm groper. I'm I'm keep I'm keeping it real, guys. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna look up these pictures after we uh, finish recording. <laughs> I don't know how I get myself into these situations all the time. Ah, uh, you know, you know, we make a good team. You know, oh, we I'm do. I'm not saying we don't. I mean, you're as crazy as I am, man. So this works perfect for me. I mean, shoot, if I could be turned into an anime person, there are a few anime chicks I would like to Claire Harvey on. But beside the point, <clears throat> that's a way to end an episode. <laughs> yeah, for the men, you want to Claire Harvey. For the women, you want to. Something else. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out the equivalent. Right. If, if you if you want to know the if you want to if you have an equivalent, tell us in the comments below. Yes, that's right. While you're in the comments below, let us know what you thought of the anime for this week and what you're looking forward to next week. I'm looking forward to everything. So. Yep, for sure. Well, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Until then, later. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for being with us. We love you guys. Check out comicfrontline.com. We are your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. YouTube channel is updated daily, so please, if you are not subscribed, subscribe so we are in your subscription feed and you do not miss out on a single video. Till next week, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and enjoy your anime. Now, I will see you guys next week. You'll see Jeremy in two weeks. End in the comments. All right. Take care, everybody.